quick calculation for mole fraction in a mixture. What's the mole fraction of sodium chloride if you have one liter of a 2.2 mole per liter NaCl solution? Well, mole fraction itself, which is a capital chi, and usually you'll end up writing what it's the mole fraction of as a subscript, is by definition the number of moles of that substance out of the number of moles of all substances inside of the mixture. And in this case, it's really just NaCl and then also the water that's being used to make the solution. Some teachers will have a times 100 here so that they can make it into a percent. I like keeping it as a decimal. But what matters is how do you figure out the number of moles of each of those things? Well, the number of moles of NaCl is going to be easy because we were given the concentration of the solution and the volume of the solution. Moles equals concentration times volume. It's a formula that you probably should know by now. The concentration was 2.20 moles per liter. You have one liter of it. You know, intuitively, you probably realize that that means you have 2.20 moles. See the over liters and liters cancel. 2.2 times 1 is 2.2. But you also need to calculate the number of moles of water that you have. Now, water is going to make up a lot of this solution. You have one liter of basically water with some NaCl mixed into it. Unless you're given the density of the solution, you have no real way of knowing exactly how much water you have compared to NaCl. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one liter and convert it into a mass. That we can convert into number of moles if we know the molar mass, which we do for water. So the mass of water that we have is that one liter times the fact that water weighs 1,000 grams per liter. By definition, one milliliter of water at about room temperature is one gram. So 1,000 milliliters is 1,000 grams. Well, that was easy then. It's 1,000 grams of water because it's a liter. Now, the number of moles of water is going to be the mass of water divided by the molar mass, another formula you should probably know by now. That is 1,000 grams. Do you know the molar mass of water? It is two times the molar mass of hydrogen plus the molar mass of oxygen. It ends up giving you 18.02 grams per mole. What is that? 1,000 divided by 18.02. 55.494 moles. 59.494 moles of water entirely. Okay, here's what matters for mole fraction is the fact that combined you have that plus that, I don't know, 61.6 moles of substance total. And of that, only 2.2 was an ACL. That is 2.20 moles out of the total number of moles, 2.2 plus 59.494 moles. Cool. 2.2 out of the total is NaCl. 2.2 plus 59.494 gives me 61.694 the way I thought it did. 61.694, and 2.2 of that 61.694 was actually NaCl. That gives me 0 0.0356. That is basically 3.56%, meaning if you take a random particle out of this mixture, there is a 3.56% chance it's going to have been NaCl. The mechanics of that are way different because NaCl dissolves, but that's not the point. The point is, of all the particles, 3.56% of them were NaCl. Most of them were water. What is that, 96.5% water? That makes sense. It's mostly water. Nice. Mole fractions are great. 
They're one of my favorite things to calculate, and they get used in analytical chemistry all the time. Hey, thanks for being with me, and best of luck.